In part one, my calf popped, the boys gave you some ground stroke secrets, and we brought back MTV Cribs. Follow me to the kitchen. Follow me to the kitchen. <laughs> so we're in the kitchen. Yeah. In part two, the rehab continues. Jordy puts in some reps, and Evan takes on Victor Lilov. Let's see how the boys get on. <laughs> What's good? He's trying to compete today. First of all, seven. Last night was seven two, by the way. <sighs> oh my god, this guy's doing crazy shit already. <laughs> he tried something and it never worked. Let's go ahead and hit that in the butt right there. Oh, I lost. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Too much mouth. Be humble. Back on sir. For all. He always messes up every time he's on sir. So it's okay. You want uh, to update you on what's happening? Here? Update. Update is so yesterday I beat Evan 7 2. <laughs> that's not an update. That's and that's literally I, going back with the time. And I felt like for his confidence, I should probably let him play into the match a little bit. Uh -huh. So now I'm down 5 6. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back at 7 6 me. Stay tuned. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just no. Please don't play that. Just a net it there. I think it's over here, folks. I think this match has come to an end. Six all. You're in here first. Ready? You have to overload one side and then you switch to the other side. I'm sorry. I think your time is coming. Yeah, I think I lost actually. Fuck's sake. Read them and, and weep. Ah, <laughs> uh, the old double cross, you know. That one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the old double cross. Oh man. Okay, so all right, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna talk today? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put you in the vlog, bro. Love the vlog, come on. <laughs> Were you drunk last night? Yeah, I had a few fun. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! That's, so funny. <laughs> That's hilarious, yo. What do they call this one, boy? This is called a wall frog. Mm. You know what I love? What? I love when I message my coach uh -huh. to let him know that I entered into an ATP challenger. Uh -huh. And he just doesn't answer me last time. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. Yeah, I love it. You're doubles, bro. Second class citizen. Bro, and I'm, <laughs> and I'm 29. So I'm also out of the age demographic to where it's his target business. You know what I mean? Exactly. But if, you hit, if you're trying to go to college, junior tennis, you should really hit up Axis. Um, Chris Black, Sharik Khan. Great team. Great group of guys. South Florida, hit them up. Um, and. I'm sure someone will get back to you. <laughs> Match day, no? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, you're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> <laughs> What's today's schedule? Uh, I only have singles, not before 1.30, second match on, so mm -hmm. we're going to leave in about an hour. What are the goals for today? The goals are for today are to be mentally strong, keep a strong image of myself. So body, la body language has to be up or that mentally like inside your head or both? Both. both. Okay. And then try to play my game. Mm -hmm. Use my strength as much as, as often as I can. Momentum. That's it. Momentum. Yeah. Right, Jody? Momentum. <laughs> Did you guys pay you or what? <laughs> no. <laughs> Shout out to Lincoln. Gonna be me up with mm, what's that, the Torbeezy? The Torbeezy, you know L. Today rehab started with some soft tissue work, then I had a light bike, did some light stretching, and threw a little tape on there just for some extra support. One day at a time. Like me serving, not a problem. Like your first volley. I guess I'm coach this week.
Doubles is a less physical game than singles, but it is a very high speed, high skill game. So you will see pro doubles players spend a lot of time drilling during tournaments. This drill here is to replicate Jody's first volley after his serve. When the ball is low, he's going to be trying to keep it low and kind of deep cross. And if it's higher, he has a bit more options. He might go line and punch it or still put pressure on the returner by hitting a more aggressive angle. And as the feeder, I will move position so he will get some from maybe his wide serve, some from his T-serve. And I'll change the heights and spins of the return sometimes as well. He missed a few of these backhands here early. We felt like he was a bit too open. Didn't get his chest turned enough to really control that ball, especially on the backhand side. We're replicating what happens after the first volley. You're already at the net now when you're trying to close. Less is more. Finishing up with some serves, I think it's important that you do your full serve routine when you're practicing. Just keep things as close to the match as possible. Let's see if Evan sticks to his goals during the match. Evan is up against 20-year-old American Victor Lilov. Former world number three junior, ATP career high 497, and former Wimbledon junior runner up. This court five in particular is playing much faster than all the other courts on the site, which makes it a bit tricky for Evan because he's never hit on this court before. He lost the first set 6 2, but the good news is that I can see exactly what he's trying to do with his tactics, and he's committed to it. He's using his serve and his backhand as weapons to find himself at the net as often as possible. The body language has been good as well, which is a good sign. The execution might not be quite there yet, but playing the same kind of points over and over is how you build confidence. When you aren't full of matches and confidence, it can be very hard to turn matches around. Respect to Evan for staying positive and fighting, getting the 6-4 win in the second set. It's got to be like 55 degrees. Evan just split sets and we're walking inside to get warm a little bit. And you know what that makes me think of? It's how fast society has come. Because back in the old days when people in... Fuck, someone's coming down my car. <laughs> In the old days, when people are cold, what are they gonna do? Kill a wolf and use the, the wolf and bear's like, skin as warm. But now, society has come so far that we can like, we live in houses where we can, on the inside, regulate the whole temperature to be whatever. That's not crazy to you? It's shelter, brother. Yeah, but like, you can just put it to whatever you want. So if you're 
if you want coal, if you want heat, it's like, you can just do whatever you want. Like, that's this kinda, man has never crazy, smoked no? a day in his life, and he sounds like he is three joints deep. That's not kind of crazy to you? It's the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Lilov played a very clean third set and maybe Evan's level and intensity dropped off a little bit. I don't want to speak for Evan, but from where I sit, this was a positive performance because there was more clarity and conviction than the last time I saw him play. So in my opinion, this is a step in the right direction. Just got to keep going. What are we doing right now, bro? Want some Kyrgyz for What? What for? Just for inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we weren't worrying about these things anymore. No, we don't. Just, just, just for fun. Just vibing. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta have a little bit of it, sir. What's good? <laughs> a little bit of this sauce. Um, dude, we're here. We're now. We're we're we're, 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 we're a little here, we're a little there. Uh, oh my God! So it's just been crisis management around here, really. <laughs> Sports management degree, Tommy, at Illinois, is that uh, you have to man you have to manage the crises. That's what we're doing. Oh, the crisis eye. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and, and the mosquitoes out here are crazy. Oh yeah. They're crazy. You're like going up to serve you. You're right here. It's like a serious test of mental uh, will and ability to, to get through the mosquitoes. We're here. We are now. I just wanted to. We are here, we are now. <laughs> yeah. We are right. I lost singles today. Calf uh, pop. Justin got hurt again. I played. I played Lilov. Oh, Victor? Yeah. How was it? Was it good match? Uh, at times. I lost yeah. 6 1 in the third. Yeah. Um, what about you? You played him off? He's a sneaky good little player. He can, he can do it. Um, which racket are you using Practicing with Tristan McCormick, and it happened. And Popter. Yeah, I mean, can you blame him though? Tristan looks like he eats weights, so. Yeah, yeah. he eats weights, so my calves usually pop when I eat weights. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he eats weights. Well, Justin also looks like he eats weights. <laughs> 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 it's like, 
Someone's cat's hat. Someone, hey, <laughs> someone. Court, somebody's cat's hat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Someone was leaving the court with a pop cap, and unfortunately, Justin's on pop first. <laughs> Really, five more minutes and it's Tristan. I mean, Tristan's popping something. Something's going. Oh, that's that's shitty, though. But I think I think it I think it's not too bad. I think it's just a couple of weeks and he should be back. So. Okay. All right. Well, you guys go go do your thing tomorrow. I'll be I'll be following along. I just wanted to call, say what's up. All right, brother. Hey. Those changeover dudes. Hey, good luck tomorrow. Yeah, let's right. get it. Let's let it get it. All right, dude. Uh, I'm, I'm a fuck with you. All right. <laughs> <laughs>